Hello my friends, so last week I had a mod list request. You see some players asked me if there is a mod that can improve the gameplay experience in survival mode. Now survival mode isn't the most exciting experience in Stalker Anomaly and that is because of the way it works. You see when you play survival mode you are just constantly running away from zombie fight stalkers and zombies and it doesn't matter where you are trying to hide because they will always try to find you. So in this mod list we're going to overhaul and improve the survival mode gameplay experience. Let's start from the base mode for this mod list. Zone customization project allows you to customize the gameplay of survival mode and non-story mode of the game. You can literally turn stalker into Tarkov or Days, with stalkers fighting each other to survive in the zone. The nice thing about this mod is that you can also make it where you just spawn zombies and other creatures or you can mix it up and spawn some hostile stalkers as well. It is highly customizable from the MCM menu so make sure to have it installed. The last part of this video will include a guide to show you how to set it to a zombie survival scenario. Next we're going to add some survival mods that will help you survive a lot better in the zone. Placeable campfire is a really basic mod that you can just add. Just like real life you can chop some wood using an axe and then you can place the wood pile on the ground. Make sure it's a good nice flat place and you got yourself a nice campfire and this is going to help you with the next two mods. Cozy campfire allows your character to heal when it's standing next to a campfire. It's another very basic mod to have, but it's quite essential for this type of gameplay. Another simple mod that you can use which will help you a lot is the roasting mod, which allows you to cook mutant meat on an open campfire. This mod is quite immersive and time will pass when you are preparing and cooking the mutant meat, which makes it very balanced mod to have, especially if there are no shops to buy the fruit from. You will also need to drink water in order to survive in survival mode, especially if there are no shops available, so I recommend you to add fillable canteens mod, which allows you to fill an empty canteen with water and then boil the water over in a campfire, using a kettle or other cooking methods. Next you want a mod that can help you feel more at home and even lets you build your own little shelter. This is the hideout furniture mod which allows you to decorate and set up a camp in the zone. You can easily find and place furniture and then add things to your hideout. It can also help you be a bit more organized because the mod adds boxes and other type of storages that will allow you to stash your items. I have a full video about this mod, it will show up at the end of this video. You can also add Grok Stashes Overhaul, which improves the way stashes work and allow you to find better and more interesting loot. You can also use Grok Stashes Overhaul to add a list of items from hideout furniture so that you can find items inside stashes. Rock stashes overhaul also changes and makes local level stashes, which means you can find more higher tier items when you go to the north and lower tier items when you are at the south part of the zone, adding a bit more challenge and allowing you to find more diverse items inside stashes. Well stalkers we are halfway through this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly videos and guides and I love testing new mods and show them to the stalker community. You want to find more items? Then check out loot boxes. These loot boxes can be found inside stashes and on dead stalkers. Some boxes can be opened with an axe if they are made out of wood and some will need lockpicks or even a skeleton key depending on the level of security that they have. 
Usually you can buy a lockpick kit from a technician, but with Grok stashes overhaul, you can also find the lockpick kits inside the stashes. The loot boxes can contain different items like food, tools, weapons and much more. So it is a really great additional mod to have. If you're looking for a way to add custom craftable items, then you can try Bajajin's crafting system. This system allows you to add your own custom crafting items. For example, I added some craftable items here to allow me build some hideout furniture. This framework is very customizable and you can easily add your own crafting recipes that allow you for more flexible and custom crafting system. So let's take a look on what settings to use on ZCP that will allow you to have a zombie apocalypse scenario. First make sure ZCP is enabled in the MCM menu. I recommend you to set the respawn time to 6 hours. That's 6 hours in game. Also make sure to lower the stalker population factor in ZCP. Next we'll go to the loot tab and you can increase or decrease some settings depending on how difficult or easy you want to play this scenario. Now go to the mutants tab and we can set and remove some mutants that we don't want. I want to keep some dogs and wildlife like boars in the zone so that guy can still go out and hunt for some protein. Also going to keep lurkers as they are very dangerous foes, especially in a pack. You can also spawn some rare mutants which include some rare zombies, which will help you with some variety. In the stalker setting tab we are going to spawn a bit of stalkers, mainly I would leave some loners because loners will have low level weapons. They will provide you with some basic weapons and items that you can scavenge from them. Leave stalker squad size to 1. Stalker population leave it to none, but you can also set it to minimum that will allow some NPCs to have shops to spawn. Set civil war to stalkers only and infections only enable loners or whatever faction you want to see in the map. You can also enable the specific zombies option, which spawns zombies exactly like survival mode. I do recommend you not to enable the zombies seek player option if you're going to set up a hideout somewhere. Last but not least, in fact this tab is super important, is the integration, which integrates some mods into ZCP. If for example you have the glow sticks mod you can enable this option and glow sticks will spawn in stashes. Also if you have the Magridas magazine mod installed, the mod will also spawn some extra magazines for you. Another important option is the anomaly loot boxes which will spawn inside stashes a lot more frequently with this option on and lets you find the lockpick kit even if there is no technicians. This is why I recommend you to add the loot boxes mod. Don't be afraid to change more settings, you don't have to set them exactly like mine. Hope you found this mod list useful for your zombie survival experience. If you have any questions about these mods or options, write down here below in the comments. I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers, so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Bye and thank you for watching.